improved. Hey guys, today we're going to do a tutorial on how to do photogrammetry. We're going to start off pretty easy by doing a sign and then we're going to move on onto an electrical box and then onto um, the, the front face of the building. Uh, I'm doing this because I got a lot of response on my recent Reddit post, <laughs> which is always nice. Uh, and a lot of uh, people asked me to, um, yeah, to make a tutorial uh, on how to do this. So first up, we are gonna delete the default cube. Gonna go to the camera, uh, just hover your mouse over this, press backspace to reset everything to zero. Then we are gonna uh, make a cylinder. And then you're gonna go to edit mode, scale it down to about 0 0.01. 0 0.01, yeah, 0 0.01. And then go into the camera view. Then we're going to go into shading. You're gonna create a new shader. On the principal BSDF, you're gonna press Control T. If you have a Node Wrangler add-on, which you, you should, it's it comes standard with the Blender nowadays. Uh, in here, we're going to find um, a texture for our sign. Uh, I have linked this in the description so you, so you can have it for free. Um, gonna go into uh, our UV editing workspace uh, in the camera view, um, and then we're going to press U and protect project view. Um, in here, we're going to turn on proportional editing which will make this a lot easier for us. And then you're just going to adjust this to, to fit the, uh, this, the sign. Uh, I would suggest going by the edges longest away from the sign um, and then work your way from there, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, this shouldn't take too long. It should be pretty easy. And there we go. Um, the problem we have now is that we have just one giant end gun here. So what we're going to do is select both faces, to front and back, press the delete, only faces. And then you're going to go into edge mode, select the top edge by pressing Alt and right click. And then you're going to search and then go for grid fill. Uh, in here we have some settings. Uh, and I would suggest going with um, with the highest or lowest number as they will create the least geometry while also looking the best. Um, yeah. And then offsets you can you can turn it whatever way you want to. And we're going to go do the same thing to the bottom. There we go. Well, the, um, that's the, the base of the sign. But what we still need is to make the shader for it. Because right now we just have a sign, we don't have any details on it, we just have like this highly reflective sign, which we don't want to. So we're going to go into a render engine and switch to style. Close to GPU. Awesome. Now, what we're going to do we're going to move this and we're going to find a color ramp. We're going to take the color, put it into the factor and then press Control shift on the color ramp so we can get this blank white picture. Um, you can see on this sign we have a lot of moss, uh, which I'm trying to I'm trying to get the detail out so we can uh, plug it into the roughness so it gets more rough on the um, on the mass and not on the sign itself. Um, and we can kind of the thing is, if we do this now, you can see that the blue is also kind of dark. So the blue and the mass are both going to be kind of the same um, reflectivity and we don't want that. So the great thing we can do about this is change to constant so we can see um, like the colors we're at. And then here you can see at one point we have both the blue and the green. Um, or the red and the green, depending on how you look at it. So we can just adjust this to get as little blue in it as, uh, as possible. So yeah, if we have this now, we can see that pretty much all the green stuff is the thing that's that's right here, which means it would be more rough 
than the than the black box. Uh, so we're just gonna. If you don't have this add-on, it's just an HDR add-on, which is uh, pretty nice. So as you can see here, um, we have uh, reflections, like pretty sharp reflections of, of the of the sky and the sun, and in the mass we have kind of this rough texture. So we're gonna change this from constant to ease. No, nope, sorry, to yeah, to ease. And then we're gonna move the black one up just a bit, so we have all the moss kind of be non-reflective. You can always adjust this however much to your liking. Um, I'm not gonna do that much more here, I think. Just make sure that we don't um, get the blue stuff with it. So yeah, I think this looks pretty good. And then we can change from the black because signs aren't like 100% reflective. So we can change that to a slight gray. Um, and if you want more detail than just, just this, we can change this back to black. Um, we can go and create a nice texture. And then if you press uh, Control Shift, and right click on the color ramp and then go to the nice texture, you can create a mix map. So now we have, um, we want to have the color ramp at the factor and then we want the noise at the, uh, at, the at one of these, <laughs> sorry. Um, and we're gonna have the noise on the top. So what we can do with this is we can just scale it and we can if you choose the noise here. Of course, have the effect on the color. Uh, you can kind of see where we're getting. We're trying to get like a bit more detail in the in the roughness of the of the um, blue and red parts of the sign. Um, but this looks kind of weird. You know, you get this kind of. You, you can see it's a nice texture. So I would turn up the detail. Um, and I would just turn down the scale a lot. Um, even if you want to, if you have uh, scratch textures, which I often use instead. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. Um, I have one by one of my teachers, actually. Actually, um, Yeah, so if we go into scratch maps. Sorry, I'm taking so long, <laughs> by the way. Uh, I haven't really done this before. Um, imperfections. We're going to get some red wipe. No, that wasn't all map. The so we have this kind of rough uh, map, and then we can press Control T to get up the the mapping node. And instead of having to adjust these scales individually every time we want to scale this, we can just create a value and just plug this in. And then you can turn it up and down a lot easier. Uh, and again, put in a color ramp between here, change this to ease, and then you can kind of pull these around to get the, the sort of reflectivity you want. Um, and if like, you know, right now we see this wipes, that they're, they're way too sharp. So we can just turn the white a bit down. If we turn it all the way down, it's going to be black and 100% reflective. We don't want that. Let's just turn it to about, you know, about 0.5. No, it's um, about 0.2. Yeah, have it at 0.2. Uh, and maybe even actually if we have it black at 0.1. Um, I'm not a fan of having anything being 100% reflective. Um, because that's not how real life works. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. 